Welcome to Tales of Honor, a podcast with a mission to tell the true stories of every recipient of our nation's highest military award, the Medal of Honor. Hello, everyone, and welcome to today's episode of Tales of Honor podcast. Today's episode is episode number 393. I have no birthdays to go over today. The the last two birthdays for the month are going to be in the last week. Might be one of the last uh, two episodes. We'll have the last two birthdays, so nothing to go over today. Just a reminder, National Medal of Honor Day is fast approaching, so please go to the show notes and check out the Medal of Honor mail call and find out how you can participate in corresponding with our living Medal of Honor recipients. Also in the show notes is a link to pick up some Tales of Honor podcast swag. Why not? I can give you some reasons why. They're comfortable tri-blend t-shirts, a nice premium hoodie with the logo on it, coffee cup, um, and 50% of the profits do go to the National Medal of Honor Museum. So uh, go on over. It's a good way to fly the flag, tell us about the podcast, and support the Medal of Honor Museum. That's all I have for today. Let's get into today's episode. George was born in New York City, New York, on the 5th of December, 1881, and his entry into the U.S. Navy began when he enlisted in Rhode Island. He was a chief gunner's mate when he deployed to Veracruz during the Mexican campaign, and his actions earned him the Medal of Honor. The citation reads, For meritorious service under fire on the occasion of the landing of the American naval forces at Veracruz in 1914, C.G. Bradley was then attached to the USS Utah as a chief gunner's mate and was in charge of the ammunition party and special details at Veracruz. George was promoted to gunner, a warrant officer rank, 10 months later, and he went on to serve on the USS Montana, an armored cruiser, for the next two years. He was temporarily promoted to lieutenant in the summer of 1917 and then became chief gunner in August of 1920. When he was stationed at the Washington Navy Yard in Washington, D.C., he reported to the White House where he received the Medal of Honor from President Coolidge on the 4th of October, 1923. He continued to serve in the Navy, taking assignments on the USS Doyen and the USS Zane until his retirement in October of 1932 at the rank of lieutenant. George Bradley lived in Rhode Island where he died at the age of 60 on the 9th of June, 1942. He is buried in the St. Columbia Catholic Cemetery in Middletown, Rhode Island, Section 20A, Lot 4. And that was a tale of honor. Thank you for listening to Tales of Honor, and if you enjoyed the show, please be sure to subscribe and tell your friends and family. Tales of Honor is written and produced by Christoph Ambrosch, and theme music is Loyalty and Duty by Florus Music. If you have any questions, you can send an email to talesofhonorpodcast at gmail.com and please be sure to visit talesofhonorpodcast.com for more episodes and information.